Hello everyone, welcome back to PBird channel. I am so super happy to meet you all with another interesting video. In this video, we are going to see how to set $0 cyber security lab free. Without further ado, let's get into the video. If you are a beginner in cyber security and didn't have a powerful machine to create a multiple virtual machines to practice and learn, then you are in the right video. Offensive Security is providing a free labs to practice. Please comment if you want to know more about Offensive Security courses and clearing the exam tips. For YouTube algorithm, please do not forget to give a like to the video so that this video will be visible to other who is looking for it. To access the lab, you have to sign in with your email address. Let's go and quickly sign in. Okay, before signing it, there are two options. One is play and practice. Play is a free training lab, so you it's a dedicate, have a dedicated machine designed it and submitted by World Hub community, so you can use it. And practice is a so you have to pay; it's not a free version, but it is a define. It's a designed for offensive experts. But in our case, let's use play option. As a first time user, you have to click on this name, username, email address, you have to give a valid email address and you have to use a password. This is a one time so that you can log in whenever you want it. I have already logged in, I have signed in and uh, I'm inside it. So once you are logged in, uh, you can see a lot of virtual machines are there which is submitted from the Wellnub community. So I'm just going with the easy one uh, for this demo. So you can see there are lot of virtual machines, vulnerable machines are there. So these vulnerable machines, you can use it to practice and enhance your cybersecurity skill. Let me quickly go and launch one uh, machine. So easiest one, I'll just go it on it. So all you need to do is just start this mission. Let's wait the machine gets to start and uh, parallelly it will be starting your kali linux as well so you no need to install any kali linux so once you start this machine uh, kali will also will be loaded with all the tools so you can practice and enhance your skill so let's wait for a few more minutes to get the machine ready it's getting adjusted to this one okay and uh, let me minimize it and see if the machine is ready Okay, so the mission is ready. The DC mission also ready. We can see this IP address we are getting. So the terminal is open and uh, let's go and quickly do a network scan to find the vulnerabilities in the mission and also collect more details about the services and open ports which is running on this mission. I have made the Nmap tutorial. I'll be giving the link in the description. Please check it out. And if you are new to the cyber security, I have made a cyber security for beginner guide series please check out that also i'll be giving the link in the description so let's go and quickly do a nmaps port scan nmap and uh, the ip address of the machine vulnerable mission is 192.168.55.194 let's i'll do one thing let me put it in the different browser so it's easy for me to toggle between it Let's me go back quickly again for one second. One so ninety two dot one sixty eight dot fifty nine sixty eight dot fifty five dot one ninety four. And the password is Cali. Okay. So the scanning is completed successfully. If it is prompting for the password, password is Cali. So we have successfully scanned this mission and be able to see that there is a one http service is running if you want we can do more nmap scanning let's quickly do an aggressive scan of this ip 192.168.55.194 Let's wait the aggressive scan to complete.
Okay, so the scan is completed, aggressive scan is completed, and I can see that this is a Linux box is there, and uh, the port is running, and uh, I can do further more on this port. Let me go and quickly uh, see if there is any web pages loading over there. So all I need to do is I need to put this IP address 192.168.1.1. Okay, so yes, page is there, means I can see the host is getting results. So it seems like I, again, I can do more uh, troubleshooting penetration testings and I can do further more and I can practice on it. Uh, since this is just a, a base video, how to create a cybersecurity lab, uh, so I'm just passing it. Uh, if you need a more practice videos, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. That's it, guys. I hope you like this video. Please give a like and share. If you have a questions or suggestions, please comment below. Show your interest and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Follow me on the social media platform. Thank you all. Bye for now.